I was, I was trying to explain winter, though, to people that have never seen it, like black ice. Do you guys know what black ice is? Okay, that's like when you're driving along, you're like, oh, friction free time, wow, okay. Ooh, there's that tree, I hope I don't hit it, you know, wee. <laughs> I'm trying to explain to my friends in Los Angeles, black ice, it's like, oh, black ice, the most dangerous part about winter. See black ice, go the other way, don't burn black ice. They thought I was saying black guys. <laughs> I know, now they think all white Wisconsin guys are prejudiced, but well, we're not, for crazy. We're, we're, we're little cuddly people from the movie Fargo, you know? <laughs> hey, we're like, oh, so you're a black fella. <gasps> Neat. <laughs> How's that working out for you? <laughs> not that we're tolerant of other people. We're just happy to have someone to talk to you. <laughs> he looks to be a nice enough fella. You, you guys can tell I got the Wisconsin accent, don't you? I know. I use it for birth control. <laughs> no, it's not a romantic way to talk. It's, it's very nasally. Everything I say sounds like a game show buzzer, right? It's like, thanks. <laughs> Where's my big? Where's my, that's the way we say the word bag. B-A-G is big. <laughs> I thought everyone said it like that. The first time I moved out to Los Angeles, I go, hey, you guys know where my big is? And they're like, big? <laughs> it's pronounced bag. And I'm like, well, I beg to differ. <laughs> I showed that guy. But I don't really have the accent that bad. My fishing buddy, Todd, you know, he's one of those guys with the big beer gut and his fingers look like bratwursts. <laughs> you shake his hand, you get hungry. Mm. Oh, them are ready to take off the grill. And he always talks like maybe someone kicked him in the throat a long time ago, you know, he's like, yeah, it's out there by the lake, you know? And them walleye are just jumping in the boat. <laughs> and them are good for pickling. <laughs> oh yeah, your crappie will pickle up nice too. <laughs> it's hard to trust a guy with that accent, you know? My, my doctor actually has the Wisconsin accent. <laughs> the other day he comes up to me, he's like, Rob, we're gonna have to put you on Demerol. I'm like, why? And he goes, well, Demerol we got. <laughs> I want a new doctor. <laughs> but that accent really, they, it comes from the German people. The Germans settled out here, or up in Wisconsin. Do we have any German, people of German descent? Are you? What's your last name? Trash. Oh, but what was the German one? Spog. Frog? Spog. Yeah. Spog. Oh, how do you spell it? S P A R G. Sprog. Sprog. It was probably longer than that. The no German name is only one syllable. <laughs> it was like Sprogen Icken Flocken Schmuck. <laughs> your relatives came over in Ellis Island, they took your Icken Flocken Schmuck. <laughs> now you're stuck being a Sprog. <laughs> but you can see how the Wisconsin accent just evolved from the German. Because the German guy came over here a long time ago. He came over to Wisconsin a long time ago. He was like, your menschen skin jetzt hämmel auf mit alle deine Klatsch und so weiter. It's cold up here. <laughs> I'm freezing my Wiener schnitzel here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So he learns English and he has a child and he raises a child and he teaches him to talk and the guy goes out there while I fish in for the love of Mike, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the evolution of our accent. <laughs> And I noticed we have our own little language in Wisconsin. We, we say stuff that no one else would say. We say stuff like, come here real quick once. <laughs> you want me to come over there really fast one time? <laughs> yeah, jump out the car, get me one of them real quick. Everything's real quick, you know? You just add that to every sentence, even if it doesn't make sense. Like, pour some molasses on there real quick. <laughs> I can't. That's as fast as it'll go. <laughs> You're just gonna have to wait like everyone else. <laughs> and I think we're the only ones that call traffic signals stop and go lights. 
<laughs> Everyone else calls them stoplights, but that's just because they focus on the negative. <laughs> We're a little more optimistic in Wisconsin. We know eventually you're gonna go. We'd be happy just calling them go lights. But the dead giveaway you're from Wisconsin is if you suffer from what I call the er no factor. Right? They're like, you guys coming with or no? You guys have supper or no? And stay away from the Wisconsin Shakespeare Festival. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> they're, they're like, to me or no? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> Forget about that iambic pentameter. These tights are riding up on me. <laughs> it's not a romantic way to talk. There's so many more romantic sounding accents out there. Like, what would you say the most romantic male accent is? French. French, boy, that guy's adamant. <laughs> I'm really into French guys. <laughs> I was kind of asking the ladies, but... <laughs> Thanks for coming out, I guess. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. <laughs> but women, you do like French. I, I don't understand what that is, you know? It, it doesn't even matter what the French guy says. He's like, ah, oh, mon chéri, you're so stupid and boring. She's like, oh, Pierre, ah! That's not fair, you know? We can't get away with that, with a Wisconsin accent. You know, you're not gonna have much luck picking up a girl at a bar, so, like, so you come here often or no? <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and it's not just humans, it's like in the bird world. There's certain birds that are luckier than other birds because they have more romantic sounding mating calls, you know, like, Ooh, that was exciting you there for a second. She's like, ooh, the throat wobbler mangrove. <laughs> that little bird gets lucky constantly. It's always rebuilding the nest. You know what I'm saying? That would be like, you know, the French accent. The Wisconsin accent in the bird world is more like the crow. The crow has got to be the least lucky bird in the bird world. His call actually admits defeat. It's like, you mean you're not coming back to my nest? <laughs> ah! <laughs> then, he, then he hops across the street and eats dead stuff. He's like, ah! <laughs> That's how crows walk. They're, ah! <laughs> not their fault. They're victims of their upbringing. <laughs> Just like me. Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it now and you can watch my whole comedy special.